Hello everyone, welcome along to day three of WFS Live powered by Ronaldo. I'm your host David Garrido. We're approaching the halfway point of this event today. We have six super <coughs> sessions uh, to bring you across hugely diverse topics. There's something for absolutely everyone. And um, Once again, please do get involved using the chat questions and poll functions. Spread the word on social media at WF Summit on Twitter, at World Football Summit on Instagram. The hashtag, by the way, is quite simply WFS Live. Um, and on social media, we've been playing the game, which is called What Shirt Has David Got Behind Him Today? Uh, day one was Valencia. Day two was Colombia. Day three, you might have a little bit more trouble with unless you live in the UK, but I'll give you three clues very briefly. First of all, not a top division team in England. Secondly, more than 150 years old. And thirdly, a day of the week. That's all I'm going to say. Hit us up on social, see if you can guess. Uh, right, let's get into our first session. Football analysis has become more sophisticated in its depth and its presentation over time. And it also now belongs to more and more people because data is free, it's open, it's plentiful. So how do football clubs find that greater value and understanding? Some, often with less budget, have managed to drill deeper and play smarter to level the playing field guided by the numbers. We bring you this panel uh, in partnership with BPro, who have an all-in-one platform which includes quality 4K video, deep performance data, and user-friendly software, all underpinned by an advanced camera system and expert data analysis. And they now provide services for more than 500 clubs and, ad and academies in numerous countries, and many of them are in the top European leagues. Uh, we have the company's CEO, Luis Kang, here, who will present the company and their services, and he will discuss the past, present, and future of football analysis with uh, the Following Tony Ordinas, uh, Academy Director at Lidstrom Sport Club, uh, Rick Menes, first team analyst at Willem Tve, and Andrea Sentimenti, uh, youth goalkeeping coach at Bologna FC. Uh, Luis, welcome. What have you got for us? Hello, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, my name is Luis, I'm CEO of BPRO, which provides a platform inclu including <laughs> videos, data, and software in a single user friendly solution. So, currently, we're working together with uh, over 700 clubs around the world in 12 different countries to help them improve their performances and win their games. So, today, we are here to talk about numbers in football. So, in spite of rapid recent developments, um, numbers and methods and all this are not a familiar topic for those in football compared to other sports such as baseball, which has a famous multiple story and saber metrics, or basketball. However, it doesn't mean that football people are not interested in those topics. Football analysis does have its own long history. So back in 1950s, there was Charles Rip, arguably the first guy who we can call football analyst, worked with Brentford, Wolverhampton Wanderers, and the others. He recorded detailed data by his bare hands, which took almost 80 hours for a single game, and made his own conclusions based on this, for example, he recommended moving the ball forward as quickly as possible, which characterized the English style long ball game afterwards. And there was Don Rebbe in 2000, uh, sorry, the 1960s, the famous Leeds United head coach and also later England national team manager. He used detailed reports to analyze not only his own team, but also the opponents. And ahead of his time, not everyone bowed into this idea and approach. Entering 1980s, uh, DVD and basic video stuff came up and it, they, it allowed for repeated viewing of matches to assess key moments. And it represented the birth of video analysis. And it, in, the, in the late 1990s, on the back of internet and IT technology, this subject began to be commercialized by the first companies like Opta, Prozone, they brought consistent and accurate data for on-ball event actions and provided an objective basis for analysis, which started to be accepted by clubs and media. In 2000, there was a, another new interesting attempt to measure physical performances, such as distance and speed, through GPS tracking devices made by companies like um, Catapult or Statsports. This technology has become a standard for most of big teams nowadays. And finally, since late 2010, where we are now, uh, thanks to unprecedented progress in technology world, especially artificial intelligence, there's been a lot of also interesting new attempts to introduce those new technologies into football. And the most noticeable new trend is to understand football more context-wise by going beyond raw stats. Like uh, optical tracking has been introduced exactly for this, not just to avoid using wearable devices, but also to make awful data available. However, it's still on an early stage, so it's not commonly used by everyone yet. 
So the current weekly analysis routine is like the following step. First of all, analysts films a game using their camcorders or in some leagues, video production companies hired by a league uh, do this job on behalf of them. While filming a game, they're using a video editing tool to cut important scenes in real time and communicate with coaching staff on the bench. And then they are preparing a post-match analysis session to review their last game. This should be done within uh, one or two days when the memory is still vivid for all players. And the next one is based on lessons learned from the post-match analysis session. Coaching staff organize training sessions during weekdays. And analysts are also filming those sessions manually and help coaches review their team tactics preparation and individual performances both at the same time. And one or two days before the next game, analysts are preparing pre-match session by analyzing their next opponent. So in order to successfully carry out all the mentioned tasks, they need roughly four different solutions. First, video recording for both match and training session, which provides live streaming availability at the same time. Second, video editing, video editing tool. Third, external match analysis provider to have general event stats and video clips. Four, um, a platform to share all those outputs with coaches and players. Although, as you can see, um, there have been a number of attempts over the last century, but as I mentioned, football analysis is not considered as a game changer yet. So what does prevent football analysis moving to the next stage? Uh, football is a very dynamic sport as opposed to the other sports, uh, the other turn-based sports, and also it has a lot of players involved. So every player's movement and action at any moment does matter. So with that being said, football industry has had the following technological limitations to discover the essential numbers of the game. So the first limitation is about the camcorder-based video. So many clubs are still relying on camcorder-based video. This shows only specific scenes, which restricts capturing movements of the player who are not in this scene. And also, these videos don't give you a full view of the whole pitch, which is necessary to understand the whole context. And furthermore, it's easily affected by weather and infrastructure, which causes inconsistent video quality. On top of this video limitation, um, current event analysis, such as counting the number of pests or shots, also has this limitation. Although um, it's obviously important to have those stats, um, those stats should be interpreted by its context. For example, if a player has a 80% pass accuracy, so what does it mean? Um, under which circumstances every single pass was made? Event data is based on on-ball actions only, like passes, shots, and tackles, etc. Event data does not have, does not deal with such as space, open movements, or positioning, which are also hugely important in football. And um, in order to check the context of each stat, we should watch the corresponding video clip together. Um, so context should be supplied alongside data. So we need a solution that connects each step with the corresponding video clip. However, a lot of data have been provided through a paper report, um, which often lack context. It lacks not only the connection between videos and data, but also interactions to put different steps together and visualize them. So because the data cannot completely measure the essence of football in many clubs, analyzing a game is just limited to manually filming a game, watching it back, and cutting a video clips, which are then shared with uh, players and coaching staff. This is often the responsibility of the analyst, and it limits the impact that they can make. So in most clubs, analysts are not considered as a key member yet, in spite of their intelligence and capability. And some low-budget team don't even have an analyst. Nonetheless, uh, the top tier team, big, uh, big clubs are getting aware of the importance of um, the performance analysis and data science. So they are investing resources in these topics. However, because of, the, because of these two reasons, this, this trend is limited. First, the well-structured analysis team and then the best technologists are limited to top professional teams because, because of its expensive price. Uh, Semi-pro and youth teams often cannot access this solution due to their limited budgets. And furthermore, the fact that there are a number of providers in this market providing each element is also one of the main causes of the expensive price. Regardless of how good they are individually, people have to get used to using different tools and have to set a higher, higher budget to access all of them. It's important to have a consolidated solution and have a consistent criteria across all the teams at a club. Therefore, people came to the market to end this story and take everyone to the next step.
back in 2015, um, I was a university student who was just playing amateur football, and I've always desired to have my own pro profile containing all my video clips and playing history. And by the way, I've scored quite a lot of goals during my career, so <laughs> I surely need it. And I also imagined um, every player, sports player, regardless of their level, have an, their own ethnic identity within them. So I thought, what if there's a system, um, um, there's a system that, um, like, like um, okay, regardless of the level, everybody can have their own profile and uh, connect them like a LinkedIn. Okay, what what happened? So I was in a programming group and started um, started to write down the first code as a side project with my friends for now my colleagues. And we had the first good outcome, and we decided to turn it into a serious business. And um, and afterwards, we started to search for an opportunity to provide the services to for, to professionals. And we had the first chance to provide the first service for the top Korean professional youth league by beating other competitors in a presentation. And the only thing we did is to iterate meeting customers coming back and applying their uh, feedback and going out and showing this product again during the whole 19 uh, to, during the whole 2016. And the feedback was quite fantastic after the, afterwards. However, I thought if we cannot make a success in Europe, which is the core market of football, it doesn't make sense to continue this business. So we went on a trip to Hamburg, Germany, where we had few contacts for a market research. I thought there must be a lot of um, technologies in European football. However, I was quite surprised that they are also using the same services, which we already built it in Korea. So after meeting several clubs in different levels, we came back to Korea and applied all feedback uh, during the first trip. And we went to the Germany again three months later to show the improvements. And they were quite surprised and they asked us how you guys have done it during the Christmas time. And we said, that's how Beeper works. Um, so then they, they asked the price to start to use the services immediately. And we didn't expect them to ask the price. So I, uh, so, so, so we had no idea. So we, we decided to move to Germany because we saw the opportunity. And suddenly all 10 Korean guys who haven't lived abroad, who cannot speak German suddenly landed here. And it's been three years since we arrived in Europe. And in the meantime, uh, we have done the same thing we did in Korea, meeting clients, listening to what they need, building up them. And thanks to our versatile engineering team, we have an all-in-one solution from fixed camera video production to match analysis and user-friendly interface uh, interface uh, created over the last three years. And our customer base, like I said, have been exp um, expanded to 700 teams in 12 different countries. So now I'd like to introduce how we are solving the limitations that I've mentioned. So let's watch the first video, uh, how we created the panoramic video in real time. Please play the first video, yes. So our fixed camera system consists of multiple cameras and capture each part independently. And then through our video uh, stitching technology, we put, we put those videos together and provide high quality panoramic video like this, regardless of any weather condition or infrastructural uh, restrictions. Users also can move the view left and right or zoom in and, to zoom in and zoom out through, uh, through our website and mobile application. And our clients can automatically film games and trainings and also watch all open movements in real time in any place like on the bench or in an office. And the, 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 the previous example was the one of the, our Bundesliga real game. So, and then the next topic is, as we mentioned earlier, we need to be able to calculate every single player, move, uh, player and ball movement for every video frame. And here is where, a, where AI technology shines. Through our, uh, please play the second video, yes. Through our optical tracking system, we can show all players' ball movements, draw some dynamic graphics to spotlight the single player, and show data on the on the video play, uh, on the video player at the same time. Like like here, you can see his running distance and current speed, and connect player through a line and show the distances between them. Besides these visual visual interactions, we are not only calculating players' physical data without any extra wearable devices but also at the same time starting to discover more essential stats and data such as how much defenders are well aligned throughout the game, how compact they are between midfielders and defenders, or how much press we are putting and where we are pressing the most. All these concepts have been quite familiar for any football experts, but it hasn't been concretely measured yet. So now a number of early adapters are beginning to take a deep dive into those stats with the optical tracking data. However, since only few companies have both 
panoramic video capability and tracking capability. So they, these are not commonly used yet. And then the next topic is, the, um, is we also provide our event data as well, for sure, and the combine all those data with corresponding video clips and visualize them. Yeah, let's look at the next video. So as you can see here, when we click a stat, then a video player pops up and shows the exact video clips of those stats. Here, for example, I clicked all sprints of a player. And these are all video clips of movement these players sprinted. And also we show trace as players moving. So you can see red trace for the moment that the player was sprinting. So analysis and data can be alive only with their context. So visualization and interactions are the best way to figure out the deeper meaning. Okay, thank you, this is all. Great. So um, the video I've shown you are not fancy marketing videos, but the live demo, which I took screen recording two days ago. So once you sign up our services, you can experience the exact services immediately. And we are always offering some trial phase to let you fully understand the value of Pro. And in the end, all the above should be put together in a single place. So each part is not an independent service, but rather a component of a complete football analysis routine. So thanks to our um, technological capability and willingness to keep listening to what our customers need, we have been building up an uh, all-in-one solution to cover all of them. So by having B Pro, clients don't need to use seven different platforms or providers, which also make them save the money. So, okay, and um, I have, um, just, okay. Yes, this is it. I have talked quite a lot of things in a short time. Um, so instead of keeping me trying to advocate our services, here I have invited our customers who have been using BPRO services for a long time. So I gladly introduced our three guests. Hi there. Hi there. Hi everyone. I'm Andrea Sentimenti from Bologna FC. I'm a youth goalkeeping coach and uh, I use BPRO. It's one year. It's, uh, it's clear it's smart and uh, it helps us uh, during our mission to grow up goalkeepers from the youth sector to the first team to Serie A it's uh, it's incredible for me because i always uh, uh, have videos with my camera and uh, now i can have a panoramic view i can watch what uh, what the, the goalkeeper does during the game also when the ball is in the other area, the, the participation of the goalkeeper at the game, it's uh, very, very important for us. So BPRO help us during this, uh, this mission. Um, Thank you very much, Andrea. <laughs> yes. Thank you, Andrea. Um, welcome, everyone. My name is Rick Menes and I'm uh, and performance analyst uh, of Willem 2. Um, this is this was the the first year we used BPRO, and um, I'm gonna explain you how I use uh, the system during the week uh, in pre-match, on match day, and on post-match. Menes, Menes. Okay, thank you, Rick. Hello everyone, my name is Tony Ordinas, Academy Director in Lillestrom, uh, 23 years experience in youth football between Spain and Norway. And uh, we experience, uh, I have to say that uh, for me it was a revolution to uh, discover BPRO uh, because it was a completely change of mind in how we, how we approach the player development and uh, we will speak later about this. Okay, great. Anything else that would you like to guys to, to, to share? Uh, yeah, I think uh, I start. videos. Andre starts. Ah, okay. Yeah, I think videos and data uh, that the report um, is giving us is very, very important for the growing up, but also for the professional of Serie A, because we have a report at the end of the match in which uh, we have the average, the key passages, how much uh, the goalkeepers, but also the other players moves. And it's very, very important. And uh, I want to say it's accurate, smart, and uh, it makes us uh, save a lot of time. 
Thank you, Andrea. Um, yes, I can. Uh, I can tell you something. How how I work with uh, the B Pro system. Uh, first, uh, in pre-match, it's it's very easy. Um, for example, for all the training sessions, um, it's just by one click on the button on the uh, and we can film every training with the whole view. So, for example, if you have two trainers uh, and you have two exercises, it's it's possible to film those two uh, same exercises uh, in the same time. So, um, in in the week of training, uh, we can see all clips and see all data uh, of the training and even of the opponents. So, for analyzing uh, opponents, we can see everything, uh, the strengths and the weaknesses, um, how they play, where they play, how many passes they had uh, over the whole season or uh, in several matches. So uh, in pre-match, uh, on pre-match, in the week before the match, it's, it helps us a lot. Uh, on the match day uh, itself, um, it's easy to to send uh, the clips live to the coaches who maybe have an iPad uh, uh, on the field or or next to the field, um, and uh, it's easy to see uh, everything on the wall pitch. So um, if we are attacking, uh, we can see also the distance be uh, between the goalkeeper and the defense. So uh, it's not only focusing on the ball but also on the rest of the field mm -hmm. and uh, in the post match uh, i think uh, so a day after the match it's it helps us uh, the most because we can uh, exactly compare the data the event data of the match uh, of players uh, to the films and the clips uh, who are the same so for example if a player had 10 uh, successfully crosses um, we can show them uh, you had 10 good crosses but we can also show the videos which belongs to that moment so for us it's uh, and for me it's uh, very uh, good and um, easy to compare the data and the videos and show them to the the coaches and the players and uh, other stuff yes and to complement uh, this information of the colleagues, uh, I can I can explain that uh, during more than 20 years, uh, I had the feeling that I just watched the matches, didn't analyze the match. Uh, with Bipro, this concept changed because, as as Luis explained, football is about space and time. So for the first time, I had the possibility to see thing, what happened on the pitch with all the players and with all the relations. Uh, in youth football, I think, in the academies, it's so important that we, we don't just look for the physical parameters. We have to look for the fundamentals. This is the most important to develop a player. How is his relation with the ball, technical skills? How is his relation with the teammates? This is what covered at Bipro. Uh, as academy director, my main role in the club, in Lillestrom, is generate value for the club. Uh, has been very useful for me, Bipro, because when I go to the technical board meeting or when I go to the first team uh, meeting, I go with a name and surname. That is the value. Before Bipro, I went there with opinion. I have the feeling, I think, uh, now I go there with data. I can compare. I can say, this is the role in the first team. This is our academy player. This is the data. That is the one that we have to put the pro contract, or this is the one that we need to promote it. As a coaches, I, I just want to say that for me, it's not just about safe quantity of effort. Sometimes people talk, I would like to have a system that saves me time. For me, the key question is the quality of the effort that B Pro give us. Uh, it's so easy and so useful and so pedagogical for a coach can go through every single element through the video to the player the quality of the feedback the quality of the discussion change completely and also i think for the player perspective uh, the most difficult for a player is the feeling that did i play a good match or did i play a bad match uh, be pro resolve this question because an access immediately and you can also answer yourself this question so for me, B Pro, it's about quality of the analyze of what's happening 
individually in each player that is, I think, wonderful for, for all the academies. Okay. Thank you very much, everyone, for your very um, the comprehensive uh, experience share with us. So I'm going to wrap up my presentation by saying the future uh, of the analysis. So first of all, one of our mission is to redefine, uh, we, one of our mission is to enhance analyst influence and impact in the, in the club by taking over their recurring and time consuming tasks so that they can more concentrate on discovering insights and consulting individual players and upgrading tactics. Plus, as the state-of-art video and data production company, we are basically providing um, every raw data that analysts need, need in order to validate their assumptions and make their ideas into reality. So if you have X, Y coordinates of your players, every single position and movement, what would you like to measure? What would you like to do the data modeling? And furthermore, as I mentioned earlier, we believe having own video clips after a game and developing their own career profile as a sports player are basic demands regardless of the level of football. In these regards, videos and data availability should be more per pervasive everywhere at, at an affordable price. So anyone can develop their own identity as a player and find out their undiscovered strengths and weaknesses and their play styles based on context analysis and going beyond typical event data and also having this record motivates player to take all games more seriously. So in order to make this into reality, we are making a lot of effort to decrease the production cost while maintaining the, maintaining the service quality at the top level to support from top tier to semi-pro and amateurs and eventually everyone at the end of the day. So we are calling it video and data analysis democratization. And at last, and now imagine every player has their own video clips. And there is a platform to connect all of them together. This means the birth of worldwide scouting platform. Since we have a platform providing consistent data and video for any club, of course, through legal agreement and legal basis, we can offer detailed information on players for scouting pur purposes, especially in their youth sector. So currently, it's difficult to find out best young talent since only few players are recorded and analyzed. This restriction causes in in information asymmetry. Only players who are belonging to the top club and also have a good agent can go to the next step. So we would like to connect all football participants and make this market more transparent, which means anyone can have as much opportunity as they deserve. So at the end of the day, we take the entire football to the next stage and make them more be professional, like our name, Be Pro. Thank you for your attention and feel free to reach out to us if you have any questions or suggestions. Thanks again. Fantastic. Uh, Luis, what, what a comprehensive and well-structured session that was. Uh, really the very essence of teamwork here between you and your colleagues on this particular roundtable, um, taking us through the, the history of football analysis and indeed I think the inherent problems and limitations and challenges that there have been with that and how BPRO appears to be the 360 solution. But it's important to kind of cross-reference that with some evidence from the customer side, as you say, as well as the, the client side. And, and what really sort of sings out to me here is how flexible this tool is and how you've got different people at different clubs in different roles who can still extract value uh, from, you know, it could be a, a first team analyst perspective uh, like Rick, or it could be a player role specifically like Andrea uh, and Tony, you know, reflecting one of the realities of football, which is that, remember, academies are there to grow players. But yes, of course, the financial realities of football are they're there to generate revenue and value for this club as well. And a manager and a coach, one of their responsibilities, although it's not often spoken about, is to elevate the value of their squad. And if that can happen from the academy up, then that certainly helps them out. Um, uh, just that one quote you said, football analysis is not considered a game changer yet. I think it's only a matter of time before it absolutely is. Uh, Luis, Rick, Andrea uh, and uh, Tony, thank you so much. Really, really appreciate your input here with us on WFS Live. Really appreciate it. Uh, OK, guys, we're going to take a very, very short break and we'll be back uh, with the After Effect, the new normal for Asia across fan engagement. So make sure you join us then uh, at uh, 1300 hours CEST and we will continue with WFS Live powered by Ronaldo. <laughs>